More local news turning to Franklin County, where a 21 year old woman has been found just a quarter mile from the spot where she went missing. The family of Rochelle Klontz reported her missing after she was last seen at the Kentry Mercantile just outside of Pasco. The Franklin County Sheriff's Department says Klontz is healthy with no injuries. Deputies still can't explain how the Idaho woman ended up in a wheat field just a short distance from that store. Klontz had been on her way home to North Idaho from Hermiston on Sunday. She was last seen on Sunday afternoon before she was reported missing. We spoke to a Franklin County deputy who worked through the night to find her. Deputies say a number of citizens showed up to help search for Rochelle while a local farmer paid for hotel rooms for her family and the country mercantile provided dinner. The price at the pump continues to go down across the country and it's the same kind of trend here locally as well. Here's a check of where things stand according to AAA. It's about $3.79 a gallon in Yakima. That's three cents cheaper than last week. In the Tri-Cities it's $3.71 a gallon down nine cents from last week. Washington state average is down to 381 while the national average is at 361. We do have some good news and upgraded Yakima Parks and Recreation website will let you and your family take advantage of fun events this summer. The city says the location of parks and a calendar of special events will now be easier to find. The latest Parks and Recreation program guide will also be available as well. You can reserve park facilities like picnic shelters on the upgraded site. Good news there and coming up this morning it's it's the season for allergies, construction, and moving too. Consumer Reports finds out more people move this month than in any other time throughout the year, but you need to watch out for moving companies that might try to scam you. So we'll have all that you need to know coming up in our Consumer Reports, but for now we can check in with our Jay Frank. He is over there at the Weather Center, um, keeping busy as usual. And Jay, uh, something's different. Something's going on out there this morning. What's what's up? You're talking showers, Lindsay? Yeah, that's, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, we had some website. Jay, I remember when I first moved here, you helped me with about 20 boxes. I that did, were I remember that. Yeah, so you are a great mover yourself. Are your services available? <laughs> Not for hire. Not for hire. A fire in the Finley area is now in the cleanup stages and is almost fully contained. The wildfire scorched at least 500 acres in Finley. Meals Road is back open at this hour. That was the center of the blaze earlier yesterday. About 24 fire crews worked to save more than a dozen homes and buildings. Although they are now calling it safe, neighbors were no doubt worried. Crews are being released to fight other fires in the county, but firefighters will remain on scene to watch for hot spots. It's not yet clear what started this fire. A company that provides transportation for commuters between Yakima and Ellensburg is seeing some success. Compared to this time last year, there's been a 50% increase in the number of people taking the Hope Source shuttle. The two-year renewal contract will be presented at City Council tonight. Different companies help fund the million-dollar contract the city of Yakima's contribution is $66,000. That money comes from city sales tax.